Hello, welcome everyone. This video is about the compatibility issue with the TPM 2.0 on the Gigabyte motherboard GAH81MH revision 2.0. If you are using the same motherboard, then the video is for you. If you have a motherboard, again the one that I mentioned before, and you are facing the same issue with the TPM, you can't find the option in your BIOS to enable watch the full video first of all i would say you need a new tpm 2.0 which is 20 pin one the best result will be visible if you are using a gc tpm 2.0 i don't know about the other companies which the gc tpm 2.0 is manufactured by the gigabyte itself so the best compatibility will be with the gc tpm 2.0 you can find this on several websites like eBay and OnBuy, which I have put the link in the description. This is the this is suggested by the Gigabyte customer service. I have purchased a different one first, but it didn't work. So for the best result, you say GC 2.0. The second thing you should do is the updation of your BIOS, which everybody knows you need a new update to work the TPM 2.0 but there is an issue in updating the BIOS if you go to the Gigabyte website and look for the driver the one you will be getting is the latest one as FB which was released on 2015 if you have a different revision then your revision you may get a different update that will work or maybe will not work so if if the update is fb it will be 2015 which will not work because it's not the latest one so the tpm 2.0 technology was widely used from 2016 so any bias update before that won't help the issue so you need the latest one which you can't find in their website support page the best way to do this is by contacting their support which chat guys don't help because they don't know anything technical so go to their email service to address the issue and ask for a new bias driver they will send you a new driver update they may take some time maybe one week or so for me it took a week maybe you can get it faster so my case they gave me an update called fcd which was released on 2018 unfortunately it didn't work so they gave me the latest one called FCE which was released on 2024 and it did work once you get the update before installing it switch off the PC connect the GC to TPM 2.0 then update the driver so let's get into updating the driver extract the driver they gave you extract the update they gave you to an empty pen drive which is the best recommended way for the best result format the pen drive before copying the extracted files after the after you format the pen drive copy the extracted update file then keep the drive plugged in and press the restart you can press the designated key when restarting to get the bios my pc goes with the delete some of you have a different key like f2 or f12 once you are in the bios go to the q flash and double click it you can see it on your top right hand side for me the mouse works so i'm using it if your mouse doesn't work on your bias use the keypad to navigate to the q flash in my pc select the drive with the update and select the update file you can see it on the screen the q flash will automatically initiate the update don't interrupt until the update is finished and wait for the automatic restart once the system is again restarted press the key to enter the bios again for me it's delete key you might have a different one then you should see a window like bias you see in my screen then go to the fourth tab called peripherals in the peripherals tab if you go down you can see the trusted computing tab double click on it and use the enter key to get inside the option 
You can see the TPM details there if the update version supports the TPM. As you can see on my BIOS here, if you are seeing the support is enabled, you can see the details. If you didn't see the details, press the enable button, you might be able to see the details of the TPM installed. So if the driver didn't work, you will again see the support is enabled, but the support is turned off. So then you need, you need to contact the Gigabyte again to get the newest version and do all the same again and update it. And you will definitely see the one with the TPM versions and the TPM details on the trusted computing tab. They gave me two versions, the FCE, which is the version from the 2024 work for me. Maybe the other one will work for you. So it's best to do as per the gigabyte support suggests. The reason why I am not giving the file here is in my description. The team from the support said they are not responsible for any issue that can happen with the BIOS update. So here I would suggest if anyone need update, it is the best way to contact them and get the advised BIOS update. So again, if you see the TPM details here in the trusted computing tab, if it is not enabled, you can enable it here. Keep the default settings. Don't change anything. Go to the save and exit and hit the yes again. The system will restart. Once you are on the windows to check and confirm the TPM 2.0 is enabled, Go to the search bar, type the run, open the run, then here type tpm.msc. Hit enter, then there will be a window pop up that will show you like the one. Now you are seeing in my screen with the TPM details. That is it for the video guys. It is If it is helpful, please leave a comment, hit the like button for more videos like this and about the games, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. If you guys need help on turning on the secure boot, comment below, I will do a video on that. Thank you guys.